Hello everybody, welcome back to the All About Favor channel and the Walk In Favor Network. How was your weekend? I pray that everything went well. Were you able to practice uh, some of those affirmations speaking over yourself? Well, I hope that you continue to do that. Now, let's get right into today's topic. What if, and I'm just, I want you to think about this. What if everything you've gone through up until this point in your life what if it is only preparing you for everything you've been praying for what if all that stuff everything you've been through all of those trials those tribulations those tests the days that you felt like giving up what if it wasn't all for naught what if it was just preparing you for your next step for your next move for your next blessing what if it's preparing you to get to the place right where God intended for you to be all alone? See, you've been praying about some things that have not come to fruition yet, but all of this stuff that you saw as hinderings and blocking you, all it was doing was preparing you for what you've been praying for. You know what? Think about that for a moment. Maybe the next chapter of your life will be the best chapter of your life. Don't look at it like I'm not going to make it. Look at it as if, you know what? I'm ready for this. I'm built for this. What I went through, oh yeah, it got me ready for this moment right here. Just like an athlete has to go through a period of training, they have to get their bodies in shape, but while they're getting their bodies in shape, it also requires them to get their mind right too, because when the body wants to give up, the mind kicks in and say, no, you can do 10 more reps. You can press a little bit further. You can run another lap. So we in the household of faith have to be the same way. When we're going through something, something got to kick in deep down inside of us and say, you can go on a little bit further. You haven't gone the last mile of the way just yet. Come on, keep pressing and keep pushing up forward. Now, in life, yeah, there are going to be some days where you look at it and say, Now, Lord, I don't know where you are in all of this. I don't see nothing changing, Lord. It's getting pretty rough out here. I didn't know it was going to be such a heavy load. But I'm going to tell somebody today, you're going to get through it. You going to get through it. And let's let's look at it this way. If you process how you're going through things and take a few moments and step back and begin to process things and and pick apart some of the things you're going through, you will understand how okay, this is just a setup. This is a setup for my come up. This is a setup for me to step up. You know what, y'all? It didn't break you, and it won't break you. And the thing about the 23rd Psalms, I love that psalm because in it, it always, it always gives me, it energizes me. It gives me hope when I begin to feel low. That part in there where David says, Yea, though, or even though I walk through the valley, of the shadow that right there i pause right there because the word through sticks in my mind i can't get that word out of my spirit through through what does that mean pastor casey that mean i didn't get stuck somewhere i didn't get stuck in the pain i didn't get stuck in the blame i didn't get stuck in the shame i didn't get stuck where i was I had continuous movement. See, sometimes you get stuck somewhere and you're not making any progress. You're not going forward. You're not going backwards. You're just stuck. And that's the key. You don't want to get stuck somewhere. You want to walk through it. It doesn't matter the pace that you're walking. You don't have to, whether it's a brisk walk or a slow walk, or even if you got to crawl to it, you're still moving towards something. You know what? I always like to tell people, everything I've been through has gotten me to where I am today. And you know what? I so appreciate the test because it made me stronger. I appreciate the people who left me because it made me stronger. I appreciate the heartbreaks I encountered. Everything that I've gone through and experienced, it prepared me for where I am today. I wouldn't be able to 
to stand before the people of God and give them a word had I not gone through something. I would not be able to minister people to people spirit, whether I'm in a grocery store, a department store, or, or at a gas station. I wouldn't be able to give someone a positive word of encouragement or to pray with someone or to give someone hope had I not been through something. See, I have some experience in what I'm speaking about. See, there are some people that don't have no weight behind what they say. They say a lot of glowing words and they say a lot of stuff, but there's no power and no anointing behind what they're saying. That's why when they met Jesus, they say, he's saying the same thing as the other scribes were saying, but it's something about him. He's speaking with authority. He's speaking with power. And that is what you have to do. Everything that you've been praying for it is in the stuff you're going through. It's, it's preparing you for your next step. Don't let it get you down. Don't get stuck somewhere. Keep moving forward. The breakthrough that you've been asking for and praying about, it's on the way. The healing that you have been praying for, you've got to start expecting it. See, sometimes we pray for things and we don't expect it to happen. We just let it lay dormant. No, we got to start thanking God in advance for it. Lord, I thank you that it's already done. I can't see it. I don't feel healed, but I'm believing you for it. I feel feel like there's a change in my body that I just can't see. I don't receive those negative reports that I've been getting. You've got to expect it. You've got to expect it. And believe me when I tell you, some of you, the only thing you're experiencing right now is just a setup. It's just preparing you, getting you ready to walk through that new door of opportunity. You getting ready and prepared to, to receive this healing that's going to come your way. Some of you around here, y'all been praying for a financial breakthrough and, and it seemed like you can't even keep handle on the little money that you're getting. God just preparing you because he want to see how would you act and how are you going to manage the big amount I'm about to give you this windfall because I'm you've been paying your tithes, you've been doing everything. I'm about to open the windows of heaven and pull you out a blessing that you might not have room to receive, but are you prepared to receive it? So that's all I'm saying today. Sometimes what you've been praying for, for, God is just preparing you to get it. That's all it is. Thank you for watching. Get focused. Find your balance. Always protect your peace. At the end of this video, as I say, you know, they require us to say, please hit the thumbs up. Like the video. Please like the video. Comment down below. Share the video with other people. And if you have not subscribed or followed me, please go ahead and hit that. It doesn't cost you anything. And hit the notification bell so that you will be notified when I upload videos. Thank you so much for watching. We're starting the week off right. I'll see you back tomorrow. And the t-shirt I'm wearing. Look at that. I got Coretta Scott King, Rosa Parks on here, and, and Michelle Obama. I got some powerful sisters on this t-shirt today. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.